Jumping rope is an excellent tool to get a stronger back and get rid of those back rows. But you do want to be careful. In this video, I'll tell you how to stay safe and get a stronger back while using a jump rope. So stay tuned. Before we delve into the benefits of jumping rope, let's understand why having a strong back is crucial for our overall well-being. Our back muscles play a fundamental role in maintaining posture stability and overall body strength. They support our spine, facilitate proper movement, and help prevent back pain and injuries. Secondly, jumping rope helps increase muscle endurance in our back, which is essential for supporting our spine during various activities and movements. By strengthening these muscles, we enhance their abilities to prove stability and withstand stress and strain. Jumping rope offers several specific benefits for developing a stronger back. Firstly, it promotes core stability as the back muscles work in tandem with the abdominal muscles to maintain proper alignment during each jump. This improves our overall posture and reduces the strain on our back. Back rows can be caused by a few things. It can be caused by genetics, it can be caused by medicine, but the most common thing is you're not getting enough exercise and you have a bad diet. That's the most common thing that causes back row. If you wanna get rid of them, the jump rope is the perfect full body workout that'll help you get rid of those back rows. This is especially true if you're using a weighted jump rope, but you can use a regular jump rope and get similar results. Weighted jump rope, you'll get faster results though. Jumping rope is a weight bearing exercise that stimulates bone health, particularly in the spine. This is crucial for maintaining good spinal integrity and preventing conditions like osteoporosis. These five things might be causing you back pain. Stay tuned because I'm gonna let you know not only the five mistakes, but how to solve. Stop hunching your shoulders. If you're new to jumping, it's normal to feel like you need more slack to clear the rope to make it easier to jump over the rope. Many people tend to hunch their shoulders, but this can cause soreness in the upper back and neck area. You can fix this by maintaining an upright posture, keeping your shoulders back and away from your ears and engaging your shoulder blades. This will help you improve the alignment of the whole spine while you're jumping. It may be difficult initially, but trust that you'll clear the rope without issue. If you don't, you need a longer rope. Stop arching your back. With so many moving parts at one time, you're probably not focused too closely on your spine alignment while jumping rope. But overarching your lumbar spine, your lower back, while jumping is a recipe for back pain. Ideally, your body should be in a pretty straight line from your head to your toes. Without any part of your body sticking too far forward or back, your pelvis should stay in neutral alignment without rolling too far forward or back. Fix this by engaging your core as you jump and think about pulling your belly button towards your spine. This will help you keep your alignment. Eventually, this will become second nature and one less thing to focus on. Good posture is important to your overall health. Having good posture can also help with muscle tension, pain, and fatigue. The correct jump rope form will help align your spinal column as you reap the many benefits of having good posture. And the benefits of this can range from better breathing, increased lung capacity, reduced headaches, and many other things. Remember, you have to learn the fundamentals of jumping rope so you can avoid bad posture mistakes. Bad posture mistakes can not only cause you to trip over your jump rope, but it also causes many injuries. Jumping rope strengthens your ankles, which help you maintain a great posture if you didn't know. To avoid hitting yourself with the rope, you may feel inclined to extend your arms straight away from your body. This mistake may not only be causing back ache, but technically doesn't make sense. Think about it. The further you extend your elbows and hands away from your body, the less slack you have in the rope. As a result, you'll have less room to clear the rope while jumping. To compensate, your body will hunch forward, committing the first mistake I said. How to fix this mistake. Keep your elbows close to your sides while you're jumping. This will allow for more slack in the rope, giving your body more of a vertical jumping space. Don't look at the ground while you're jumping. As you grow fatigued, you may feel inclined to look down at the ground while you're jumping. Focusing on the rope as you grow tired can help you time your jump appropriately. 
but it can also cause strain or discomfort in your neck and upper back if you hold this position for too long. How to fix this mistake? While you're jumping, keep your head and neck in line with the rest of your spine. Trust your timing and judgment without looking down. If you're new to this activity, it will take some time. You can also tuck your chin in slightly to protect your neck from strength. Don't land too hard. Don't slap your feet on the ground. Jumping rope should be simple. You should be able to just jump up and down and that's all there is to it. But there's a safe way to land. Most people start landing improperly when they're tired because you lose proper form, you lose focus because you're tired. You really wanna build your endurance up and it'll help you land properly and help you get the right form. The thing with jumping rope is the more you jump rope, the better you get at jumping rope. And the only way to get better at jumping rope is if you jump rope. No matter how tired you are, make sure that you're landing on the balls of your feet. Pain in the lower back would be more likely caused by an inadequate shock absorption due to hitting the ground repeatedly with hard landing. Also, be careful on what kind of surface you're constantly jumping rope on. Use a jump rope mat if you think the surface that you're jumping rope on is too harsh. Each time you hit the ground, the spine and body compress. In a sense, this shock travels up the feet into the spine, oftentimes leading to a feeling of pressure or discomfort in the lower back. How to fix this problem? Maintain proper form and make sure that you land softly. Now, if you jump a rope on the wrong surface, you may not be able to reap the back benefits of the jump rope. Check out this video and I'm sure to tell you which surface you should be jumping on. And as always, just start. We're about being perfect later. Peace.